Hey, everybody, I'm John Granada. That's Josh Jordan. You can hear us on ESPN 97.5 and 92.5. You can also see Josh's work at sportsmaphouston.com. Hit subscribe so you get all of our content here at SportsMap H-O-U. The Astros. Okay. Jose Abreu's deal. Rafael Montero's deal. Now, Michael Brantley's deal. All under scrutiny. Considering most of those deals, I, I didn't like Montero's deal. As soon as it, $34.5 million for a guy that, I, I've quite frankly, I wasn't crazy about it. I did like Abreu's deal. I'd like bringing, bringing Uncle Mike back. Is it fair to criticize these moves in hindsight now just because they were made without a GM? Yes, it is, because that... Even what? though we liked them, that's even the if thing, we liked John, them, that's what I was going to get to. It's funny. I did a little research. I went back and I watched all your sports map videos about the Abreu signing. Joel, Jeremy, all of us loved the Abreu signing when it happened, and we were all excited about it. But we remember that Keith Law article that came yes. out at the time. And now, as we look back, it's interesting. He made the point that this this isn't a James Click type move. This isn't how the Rays would do business because he points out that you don't address first base or DH with top tier free agency if you don't have to because you can find you can find those spots in the lower levels of free agency or for guys in your system that you know they can play some DH or first base that that's not what you want to attack unless it's a truly elite player and Keith Law made the point you're you're paying a brave for what he's going to do going forward not what he did in 2022 so Keith Law looks like he might have been right about this. Well, what, the, the initial articles were all saying 36, bat speed. Yep. He did not hit with the same power in the last month of the season, last couple of months of the season. It seemed like his bat definitely slowed down. It wasn't leaving the park, although his numbers were really good last year. At the beginning, there was a wall that Jose Abreu hit in August that he has not bounced back from. Now I was I, I I applauded it I liked it I but you know because I remember Jose Abreu the player it just isn't Astro like did Jim Crane learn anything from these signings without a general manager and now will he go back to trusting numbers more than baseball players telling him what to do I hope so and Dana Brown has to be a part of that right like we love that he's a baseball guy baseball guy he cares about scouting but you got to look at the numbers you know if Keith Law can figure it out your baseball guy's got to be able to figure it out and Law also made a good point that that Abreu from 18 to 21 even though the power was good he wasn't an elite type player but in 22 the year we're paying him off of he really jumped up even though the power diminished the OPS went up and he crushing doubles like crazy so hopefully he'll trust Dana Brown they'll make some better decisions going forward and it, look Crane doesn't like missing with his money you know he's gonna notice if this doesn't work and you gambled on you know Abreu older guy Michael Brantley older injured guy and Montero had one good year so they were all kind of high risk if you look at them in totality no abs absolutely and you know what Dana Brown is a guy who has looked at numbers before he has put together he has signed long got players to long-term deals maybe Dana Brown is going to be able to change some of uh, Jim Crane's thinking Jim Crane's got to know though how did we build this thing how do we build six straight ALCSs? We did it through numbers. Why are we changing now? And when we did change, look what's happened. So maybe, hopefully, he's going to trust Dana Brown and the numbers as opposed to what he was talking about a lot this offseason. Let's get away from numbers and more with people and baseball people. Uh, it hasn't worked out so far, Jim. No, you, you don't want to win free agency. You want to win World Series, and, and hopefully he learns from that.